G'day, I'm Jesse Crow, the traveling scientist. And today we're gonna to be looking at cocaine, answering three key questions. How does this drug act in the body? What are the risks of using cocaine? And what's gonna happen if you have too much? Cocaine comes from the leaves of the coca plant and it increases neurotransmitter levels like dopamine, serotonin, and noradrenaline. Normally these neurotransmitters send signals through your neurons, then get recycled back up into the cells. But cocaine inhibits those recycling receptors, keeping those neurotransmitters outside the cell where they continue to excite your nervous system. The result is a feeling of energy and excitement, but it can have some serious side effects. Fun fact, Sigmund Freud used cocaine and he broadly promoted it as a tonic to cure depression and sexual impotence. In 1884, he published an article entitled Uber Coca, which promoted the benefits of cocaine, calling it a magical substance. So the greatest psychologist of all time was a little bit of a cokehead. Wow. Cocaine constricts your blood vessels which increases your blood pressure and makes your heart require more oxygen to pump blood through the body. Unfortunately, the blood vessels leading to the heart are constricted, so the heart's getting less blood. Simultaneously, the excitement and the euphoria you're feeling from the cocaine makes your heart beat faster, which means it requires more oxygen, but it's not getting enough oxygen in the first place, and all of a sudden your heart stops and you die. This is a worst case scenario, but it happens. Other side effects of cocaine include nausea, sweating, confusion, aggression, anxiety, and even seizures. When cocaine is mixed with alcohol in your system, it creates this compound called cocaethylene, which kind of sounds like if you mix Coca-Cola with petrol, and it's about as healthy as that. I mean, cocaethylene is really, really bad for your heart. It leads to cardiomyopathy, which is basically a breakdown of your heart muscle. And if you are gonna use cocaine, just don't drink alcohol at the same time. It's, it's so bad, don't do it. In general, if you have a heart condition, cocaine is really dangerous. It has a huge impact on your heart and blood vessels and it could kill you. Another fun fact, cocaine used to be the key ingredient in Coca-Cola until 1903, when public pressure forced the company to remove the drug from its best-selling beverage but it's still somehow addictive. Did they even remove the cocaine? Cocaine is addictive. It acts in the reward center of your brain. By blocking dopamine reuptake receptors, you get this big hit of dopamine, which makes you feel really good. But then when the cocaine wears off, you want to get that feeling back again. You want that dopamine hit, that feel good reward, and it's going to make you use cocaine again. This is called addiction and it can be deadly. Here's why. If you keep using cocaine repeatedly, your body responds to it by reducing the amount of neurotransmitter receptors. And this is your body building up a tolerance to the drug. As a result, you need to use more of the drug to get the same effect. And this increases your risk of suffering from cocaine overdose, which takes us to the next section. If you have too much cocaine, you will suffer from some serious symptoms, including a rapid heartbeat, chest pain, trouble breathing, and you might even pass out. To treat these symptoms, you will require medical attention. A doctor may need to apply a sedative, and they might need to rehydrate you with an IV. Don't try to treat yourself for a cocaine overdose. Just get to a hospital. And a good way to prevent cocaine overdose is to not use cocaine at all. This is a really dangerous drug, and if you have an addiction to cocaine, please talk to your doctor about it. It could save your life. Anyway, that's all for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you learned anything about cocaine, hit the like button down below, and let me know what you think about this drug in the comment section down below. Finally, next week's video is gonna be a little bit of a surprise, so make sure you subscribe for more Traveling Science every single week, and I'll see you guys next Science Sunday. Cheers. Back, Sigmund Freud used cocaine. He was a fiend. I feel like there's cocaine in his tea.